Hey, this week we're gonna take a little road trip and grab some coffee, cheesecake, and creative inspiration. Let's go, like right now. You know, when I get in a creative slump, I love to just jump in the car and go down to Barnes & Noble to do some bookstore browsing for creative inspiration, particularly the new book section. Looking at the covers there, it's like going to this wonderful pop art gallery where I can see the latest trends in type and color and illustration. And while you're there, you gotta get coffee and dessert. Oreo cheesecake, seriously good. So as you start to look around at these covers, you notice styles like this cutout minimalist illustration style. You see this online a lot too. Also like these black and white or sepia photos with areas of red and these bold sans serif fonts. Really popular. But nothing's more popular than the hand brush lettering script. I probably saw this on about a third of the covers. And I don't know if this is an emerging trend or what this is, but the whole brush stroke through the face kind of thing, I don't know. So I always make sure to have my cell phone with me so I can use apps like Adobe Capture. Adobe Capture can grab type, shapes, and in this example, colors. I can sample colors off of this wonderful book cover and import that palette right into my own Adobe applications, whether it's on desktop or iPad. And then I can use an app like Capture, What the Font, or Find My Font to sample typography from one of the covers and it will instantaneously give me either the exact match or something really close that's either a premium or free font. It's just amazing. So let's look at an example. On the left is a photo of a cover that I took and on the right is a Photoshop creation that I made very quickly using suggested type and the color palette from the apps I mentioned. Um, I just threw the Barnes & Noble stickers on there for effect, and I don't know if I'd make it this identical, but you get the picture. This can save you hours of time when you're in a creative slump. Okay, so here's your assignment. Get on down to Barnes & Noble, get yourself over caffeinated and sugared up, and get inspired. Be sure to create something and drop a link to it in the comments below. And we're back. Hey, be sure to check out the links below to resources I mentioned in this episode. And that'll do it for now. I'm Mark for your creative brief.